Meanwhile, the Biden administration getting one step closer to taking away another one of your household appliances, this time targeting your gas furnaces, just one of many of the White House is trying to regulate. Joining us now, Idaho Republican Senator Mike Crapo, ranking member of the Senate Finance Committee. Senator, so glad to have you with us today. Thank you for your time. And Senator, I just wanted to set the table for our viewers here. The Biden administration is expected to finalize regulations restricting home gas powered furnaces that consumers can buy into in the future moving forward and it's estimated that 40 to 60 percent of current residential furnaces on the market now would be prohibited under the current regulation this proposed re regulation senator do you think this is overreach and can congress do anything to stop it well this is clearly overreach it's just another step in the president's agenda to drive carbon-based fuels out of our economy in the first few weeks of his presidency, he killed the XL Keystone pipeline. He wouldn't build any of the gas lines, LNG gas lines that were online. And the list that goes on. People who go to the gas pump know what his attack on gasoline has done to the price of gas. And now the administration is turning its attention to the very source of fuel for so many homes in America that you referenced. Those people who choose to have a gas-fired furnace in their home save about $1,000 per home per year today over the price of the different kinds of furnaces. The, the administration is simply pushing an agenda. The president said it very clearly. He was going to drive carbon-based fuels out of our economy. And this shouldn't come as any surprise to anybody as he now turns his attention to our very homes. So, Senator, they want to get gas out of the economy, okay? Everything's got to be electric, which, of course, doesn't make sense because you got to power the electricity somehow. But here I am up in Minnesota, freezing in the wintertime. The power goes out. They've gotten rid of all the gas appliances in my house. What in the world am I going to do at that point? There are people who live outside of cities in this country that depend on alternative fuels to whatever you might get through the electrical grid. There is no planning for that, Senator, is there? No, there, well, the planning is to stop it. There are not only gas-fired furnaces and heating sources, but wood-fired sources, and those also are coming under attack. The bottom line here is that the administration does not have a plan in place for people who will go without power. And they don't care about the increase in cost either. They are set on one target only, and that is to drive carbon-based fuels out of our economy, regardless of the cost. There is legislation in Congress. I'm a co-sponsor of it. And this legislation would stop the administration from banning gas-fired furnaces. Uh, the problem with that legislation is that even if we could get it past the filibuster in the democratically controlled Senate, the president would veto it. So right now what we depend on is for the people across America to speak up and to tell the president they do not support his attack on carbon-based fuels. Well, Senator Mike Crapo, thank you so much for joining us. I think once people are cold in the winter and have trouble cooking their meals in their kitchens, they will start to listen more. Thank you so much, Senator Mike Crapo there from Idaho. Yeah, hey.